take care of this subject over the next month, which is highly possible. So, I spend a lot of time saying genetic testing doesn't really matter, what's in your genes doesn't really matter, blah 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 blah, right? It's how your body is actually feeling and reacting and being in the world that matters, and that is very true, with two exceptions. One is drug response. So there are some genes that really influence the way you're going to respond to certain drugs. And so say you've been trying antidepressants and you've tried four or five and nothing is working. That is the perfect scenario to actually test your genes and see about probable drug responses because some genes are very picky, right? And they do change the way your body responds to those drugs. And so with things like, say, mental health drugs, I think it's very important. Also with chemotherapeutic agents, I think it's very important because with chemotherapeutic agents, it really matters what your body in particular is going to respond to and you don't have time to, to mess around, right? Like if there's a cancer situation, then really it comes down to a time game. Is the cancer growing faster than we're actually controlling it? Because if it is, that's a bad outcome, right? So in those situations, chemotherapy, uh, mental health, drug response, and sometimes complex like cardiac disease, things like that. So some of those like really big significant endpoint conditions, it really matters to actually test out the genetics and how your body's gonna respond genetically to certain pharmaceutical medications. Hmm. The other situation that it actually matters because there's a bit of a time crunch is fertility and pregnancy. So most people approach fertility a little bit later in their optimal window of fertility, right? Because they've been trying naturally, things aren't quite happening, or they've had a pregnancy loss or something like that, right? And so they're already kind of partway through this very time sensitive window. And then they start looking into fertility treatments, fertility options, fertility testing. And when you're hitting that point, it can really shorten the process to know what genetic issues might be present and what you're dealing with genetically, right? Because then you can actually optimize your fertility treatment to those genes and move ahead much more quickly with the whole process because that matters, right? Again, we've got a window <laughs> and once that window closes, it is closed, right? There's no opening it again. So yeah, fertility. Fertility is another place that genetic testing really matters. So for most of us, genes, you know, it's interesting academically to know them and it can be helpful and it can move health conditions forward, but it's much more important clinically how you actually feel and how you present. The exceptions there are complex drug interventions, fertility. Okay, Tuesday tip. Bye guys.